one of the things I look forward to, now let me, now this is going to be, this is kind of hard for me because I'm kind of stuck in tradition. I'm stuck in my ways. I'm stuck in things that even the pastor got on me this morning. He <laughs> rep- I pulled out this old phone. He said, man, you need to bring it up to par. You know? <laughs> but I, I just move slow like on stuff like that. I'm not, it's, it may not be, I'm not saying it's good or bad, but I wouldn't really want to come up here this morning in a horse and buggy. <laughs> to say that, to let you know where I'm going, in order for us to be the best that we need to be, listen, and the pastor started this, we don't change the message, but the method may have to change. I see you're looking at me funny already. See, but I don't looked at me funny when he said that. <laughs> What I'm saying, what I mean by method is this. I like the phone sway, say, hey, Thelma, can you get me Thelma Lou on the phone, crank it and go, but see, we've left that. (laughs) But I still like it. I even like the phone sway you pick up sometimes and somebody was on your line. (laughs) How many remember that? (laughs) Those were the good old days, amen. But now you probably can't convince the preacher to go back there. Because he's done come up and show me that thing. He's got to open up. The thing talked to him the whole deal. And I got one, you beeping, you looking. <laughs> but on a serious note, it'll be one of the hardest things you've ever tried to do. I, my family and I still sing the old song. We still sing the song, but now listen. Let me see if I can go this way. Everybody up. Everybody awake. Do I need to get coffee donuts? <laughs> and by the way, my wife, I told you the last time I was here, my wife baked sugar baked pound. You know, about the pound cake that she baked. She bought two or three of them today, and uh, maybe somebody can buy one for the past. Well, he don't need no more food, but anybody. <laughs> but... But uh, <laughs> he probably closed the whole God. I should have got my offer first. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we'll talk more about that later. But she has a couple of those ones to look at and see if you might. Hey, I baby. Had one, by the way. Hey, hey, man, there she comes. But now, if you'll be honest, if you'll be honest, see, the Jews, and the pastor can verify Some of the Jews are having a problem with the new covenant right now. They're having a problem with Jesus Christ as opposed to Moses. Mm -hmm. Hello? Do you see where I'm going? I'm saying I don't always like it. But just because I don't like it don't mean it's wrong or don't mean it's, listen. How many of you have In a family, listen, in a family, we have children. Give me amen. Amen. We have parents. Not doing a very good job, some of them. You know, if my young one was out in the street causing problems, I believe I would know him. I believe if my young one, if if Brian was out in the street raising a ruckus, he and couldn't you pick him out from the other one? Oh, yeah. I could pick mine out. All I got to do is look for my wife. My girl look like my wife. So I just look at that. Yeah, yeah, there she is. And if they wasn't behaving themselves, I'd get in my truck and I'd go and I'd beat the devil out of somebody. <laughs> With CNN and Fox and everybody else watching. I'm the dad of rabbit, amen? Amen. amen? So you've got children, you've got parents, now watch this, and you've got grandparents amen. in a home, in a normal home, amen? amen. Everybody with me so far? Amen. But now here's the problem. Do you and your grandchildren, 
or do you and your uh, children agree on everything? Grandparents, do you and your grandchildren agree on everything? <laughs> Get dressed. Not, not so hard. Now calm down. <laughs> but listen. But they're part of the family. You got to work with them. Say amen right there. Listen. 175 years, we may have, and I'm hoping, we better believe we get some new blood in here. Now, there's some things you're going to have to consider. Boy, I wish I had a different time and developed here with some notes, but I know enough of it because I'm faced with it. I'm just going to be honest with you this morning. I'll allow the Holy Spirit to use me. There are going to be some things that you don't like that you're going to have to work with. Say amen. amen. Again, let me say it. You never, 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 never change the message. Never, 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 never. If Doma Fowl says no, never, 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 never. You never change the message. But the method, Jabez Creek, may have to change. I'm not saying totally. You may just have to advance a little bit. Amen. Amen. There was a, the old primitive Baptist churches in the 19, 1700s. They, they preached against, did you notice they preached against tithing? They preached against instruments. You couldn't have played that piano in a primitive Baptist church. So, does that make you wrong? No. no. I am picky about my music. You're not going to believe this. Before old brother Jim Parham passed away, I listened to that money. I listened to bluegrass. You say, but your skin is black. What's that got to do with it? You see where I'm coming from? <laughs> if you're not careful, if it was all about skin, I would say, I can't go to Gables Creek because the whites outnumber me. <laughs> Are we going somewhere? Yes. We're talking about 175 and grow. Yes. Desire. You know what? God read me. It started with a cell phone. <laughs> You'd have never thought that, would you? <laughs> I told him, I said, Pastor, now I'm getting ready to cut my cell phone off because it's going to make some noise. It's going to, whatever they got me rigged up on, these ladies. <laughs> they, my phone was so old, they took it from me. <laughs> my daughter actually tried to trick me. <laughs> old dad, old dad knew what was going on. She come and said, Father, what did you say, baby? What did you tell me when you come to my phone in the car? You said something wrong. Yeah, she wouldn't tell me. And me, I know. When they took my, some things we grandparents just know. There's some things there are people that can walk in this church, and you don't have to know them, so to speak. But what you can pick up on is, see, man is made up of spirit, soul, and body. You can pick up on the spirit that they are. You can pick up on it, and you'll know how to, you know, you'll know, well, maybe I don't need to be aggressive here. I just need to lay back a little bit and, uh, you know, just make them welcome, and, but you never stop the preaching because of it. The preaching is always the same. Say amen. amen. And I want to make sure you understand where I'm coming. I'm not telling you to give up nothing. All I'm telling you is you're going to have to move from the old covenant, 
which is still for our examples, amen. amen. And you're going to have to accept what Christ said. I he's fulfilled the old, but he gave a new, and the new is better. Amen. I know it's hard for you to say that, but it's better. Amen. God said that. Now, for instance, we go to South Africa. When we used to go to South Africa, my wife said, I believe God can use me in, in Mars Hill, you know. <laughs> but uh, when we went, they wouldn't preach out of the, listen, this is going to really, some of you are going to really look. They wouldn't preach out of the old, out of the New Testament as much. Somebody said, why? Because Paul's message is about grace. Paul's message about grace. That us old Gentiles could come in. Amen. Amen. Oh, God. <laughs> we could come in. Based on, not because we're circumcised, glory be to God, anybody getting this. But because of Jesus Christ. Amen. And his shed blood on cows, we praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, you can't pay for it. You can't sing good enough. You can't come to church good enough. You can't preach and teach Sunday school good enough. It's a free gift of God. Now, some people think you can't get far or you can't go far or you can't even be saved. If there's some things you don't clean up and straighten up first. I used to believe that because... I came in on some of, some of my mentors meant well, but they didn't leave me right. Did you know back during the time of Billy Sunday and some of these old preachers when they came in, did you know when they started playing music that had a beat to it, they said, dear God, they got devil music. In the church. <laughs> when they start coming up with moving chords, Sunday morning, when they, at the old day, God, the devil's in the church. <laughs> Lord of mercy. If we're going to continue to grow, and if we're going to continue to be a viable part of this community, we've got to open up. Never changing the message. Amen. But the method, listen, and my wife and him, and we, we totally, we used to, oh, gosh, I don't know where they stand now. I haven't talked to them lately. But we used to fuss because churches would have hot dogs and all this kind of stuff and bring bus kids in on with hot dogs. We say, oh, you bring them with a hot dog? You're going to have to keep them with the hot dog. How many of you know the word of God has the sharper than any two-edged sword? It has the ability to move beyond the hot dog and save somebody. And they won't necessarily want to come because of a hot dog. When you get born again, hot dog won't be the drawing card. But it may have been, listen, it's another method, which I'm not far yet. I, I told you, now be patient with me because I'm old now. now. Let me move at a pace I can grow. <laughs> Just don't come dump. You don't take new wine and put it in an old skin. If you do, don't dump it in so fast, boys. Am I on the word on this thing? <laughs> if you dump it in too fast, I'm going to blow up. I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm leaving. <laughs> but in your home, listen to me. Boy, this is good. I hope we, I wish we had a tape here. But in your home, parents, grandparents, you've got to work with them grandchildren. 
They're going to hurt you sometimes when they grow up. Mine's grown up now. My daughter's grown up. My granddaughter's grown up. Oh, when she was, oh, this Papa, she couldn't get enough of me. Now she come and, hey, Papa, you got any money? And then she's yeah. off on this thing. Here. <laughs> Makes me so mad. I said, dear God, you can't be mine. Youngin' is this my grand youngin'? <laughs> and I don't, and, and you know what? I'll be honest, my family is looking at me now. When my daughter started growing and certain things started growing, I, I looked at her and I said, oh, dear God, no, uh, no. I'm going to have to kill a boy, show the world in about two years. I'm going to have to kill me some boy because he's going to put his, he's not going to handle my granddaughter like a sack of Florida oranges. The thought of my granddaughter going to some, to watch her brothers play football and some boys looking at her, it bothered me. <laughs> but the Bible kept saying, boy, you need to grow up. She's going to grow up and not only is she going to have a boyfriend, she's going to have young and she's going to have you some great, great, great. Young. I, oh, now we're talking, all right. See, it, what's in it for me? But when they come to the house and they don't want to talk to me and sit down and let Papa talk to them and tell them about the Word of God and the Red Sea and, and how God did this and did that and the other and created the sun, sun the moon, the stars. And when they, but when they come and all they want to do is... Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, I want to find out who invented this thing and I'm going to shoot it. Let me go back to this a minute. Taking new wine and putting in old wine skins, and back then that time, you all know what they used. They used animal skins and stuff. And, and if you put that new wine in, uh, it, a, a lot of times, if you didn't do it right, and plus you lose some, and that new wine would literally swell and burst the old wine skins because it was old, it was worn. So that's why I'm saying, now if you're going to do some change in here, go slow. Hello? You know where you need to start? Sunday school. You need to start in Sunday school, and if you can get, see how we're doing right now, we're open. We're just open and and if you want to make an input, you just put something up. Just don't take long like I am. But if you want to make some input, something that goes with this, make the Sunday school where people can grow, get the foundation straightened out, and, and get it where you can be. When the winds blow and the storms come, can you sleep in a storm? Jesus could. You know why? He was at peace. So if you're going to make a change, if you're going to come up here and you're going to bring a piano in this church, you better be careful. You need to kind of lay some groundwork in Sunday school somewhere. So I, I'll tell you what, I about caused the church split. I moved some flowers in the church one time. We moved a communion table one time, and they had a two-hour meeting. You can change toilet tissue if it's not coming this way, and you just switch it in a hurry and putting toilet tissue in, and it comes up this way, and dear God, you'll split the church over toilet tissue. <laughs> See, that's why it's not good for you. It's not good for you to lay out a church. The whole church needs revival. The whole church needs to know. We're changing the direction of the toilet, teacher. <laughs> when you come, we've got a piano. We've got an organ. But the result is we're still, we're still playing. <laughs> we ain't changing the message. Just the message. Are we going anywhere? 
but it's good for 16 minutes. See, I don't believe God is having me to share this by accident. I don't believe it. In other words, you're getting ready to grow some things. You're getting ready to do some things. And you just need to be open. Check it out. Make sure, number one, it's scriptural. Amen? Now, here's something that bothers some people. It can be amazing grace, but the problem is, it's too dead burnt loud. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? We're still singing the same message, but here's the preference. It's, so, see, here's what I'm saying. We're I don't even like this word, but somewhere we've got to <laughs> balance. We've got to balance. Because if you come too hard on the hymns, too hard, the young people are going to say, unless you can train them up right. Now, I brought my girls up in that way, but now they're listening to some stuff. I, I thought about, oh, God, I can't believe these are mine. My oldest grandson came home, had a God blessed mohawk. <laughs> I wouldn't have fared so bad if he had had a black hawk, but he had a mohawk. You know, but, <laughs> no, we're not on, are we? <laughs> but, <Yeah>. but, uh, <laughs> but what I'm saying. I had to look. I said, Lord, if he's got a mohawk or bald head or if he's got a look like a rainbow fell in his head like Rodney, whatever that boy is that used to play foot basketball, <laughs> it's still mine. I got to deal with it. But I'll tell you right now, you might as well, this is where I get off. I ain't putting up with no, let, no gay and homo. I ain't going to do that now. Yeah. If he was Adam when he was born, he's going to be Adam as far as I'm concerned, until I die. <laughs> Don't let your boys go to dance class. <laughs> Boy, I better not catch you in no dance class. <laughs> Beat the devil out of you. but you're not my daddy, but you're in my generation. I'm your grandfather in this generation, boy. We're supposed to be alike. We're supposed to let the youngins know, don't we? <laughs> Tiny Tim, pedal pusher. <laughs> boy, I'll tell you right now, it just bothers me. But I've got to try to, I'm, I'm trying to make sure now. Is it getting me from A to Z? The car, yeah. Well, let me get, well, if I'm driving my T model, Ford, A model, if I'm driving it, as long as it gets me from A to Z, that's fine, you might say. Okay, but we're going to have church, we're going to have Sunday school at 10 o'clock, and you with your horse and bucket, you're going to get here by 1230. We're going to be down at the steakhouse <laughs> because you couldn't get there. It's not that we don't care for you. Things are moving. Yeah. Things are changing, church. Come on. Yeah. But not the message. I want to make sure I drive that home. Not the message. Amen. And if we learn to, if you and the Bible or marriage is the type of Christ and church and the home is the type of the church, if you can't get along, I'm not talking about agreeing with sin, so let's balance it. I'm talking about being balanced. Think about your grandchildren. Think about you and your grandchildren. Think about you and your daughter. When they were coming up, when the pastor or leadership here says, says something like this, uh, we're going to go to 5 o'clock service in the evening instead of 6. And you'll say, didn't want to do that. 
And sin it becomes a major issue. But it's not major, it may not be major for leadership. They may understand something that, you know, it could be something about the sun is warm and we don't have to use much oil. See them boys back there with them pencils, they're picking this thing up. And they come up with something. And they said, man, we could save $400 a year by just doing something or just moving something. Now, you might say, well, has it come down to that where God, people got to beg? We was at a meeting, and a guy was praying, and he's praying for the offering. He said, in Jesus' name, Father, we pray you bless the offering, and uh, we ask you to help this family and help them keep them on the road and all. And we thank you, and we love you, and we bless you. In Jesus' name, we beg. That's what he said. But he said, we had never heard anybody say that before. In Jesus' name, we beg. And see the thing, in Jesus' name, we pray. When the choir is singing, they may have a song. I have problems with uh, some of the greatest songs that we sing in our modern church era. It was written by I have problems with that, still have some. I ain't got it. I'm going to talk to the pastor about it in the service today. But you know, you wonder. I was up at the Bonaventure Hotel in California with some people who wrote a song that we had on one of our albums. And we went there and they invited us there. They was having an award show, a gospel event, some of the great Christian, oh boy great Christian uh, songwriters of their day back in the 70s, 80s. And we went and down front, they were talking and you know, had the record company there was licking and artists, young artists. And we went, well, my, a bass player of mine went upstairs <coughs> and when he got upstairs, those guys that had wrote those songs He come back down, all the wind was out of him. He said, it's no different than the world. No different. And he thought, there's nothing to it. I said, man, you can't bank on it. I said, did you see Jesus up there? He said, no, not smoking. I said, but Jesus is the example for you. I said, because this will wipe you out. But it is important. If you're not able to, if you're not able to desire sincere milk of the word, that which is pure, which is honest, which is right, you will get in a stagnant position. I'm not telling you to go hog wild, crazy. There's nobody in here, I would almost venture to say, is as conservative as I am. I'm so conservative, I make myself sick sometimes. I'm a happy fellow, but I don't like nothing no more. I don't know if it's my age or what. <laughs> if I can't, yeah. honey, I'm such a problem, I can't wait till long as well come on. <laughs> Lawrence Well, you go there now and look at my whatever we take them things. Lawrence Well, Dinah Shore, <laughs> Hee Haw, RFD Channel, Horse Riding. I like to see them ladies ride. <laughs> but because I ain't got to struggle with it. And every now, and I, and I like live championship ba bo boxing, but they got so mean, and it ain't sports no more, it's just a brawl. But I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is, I'm having to, I'm, pre, I'm not preaching just to you. I'm saying, 
I got to work it. I, I got to kick it up a notch. Or else I'm going to be left behind. Really. I'll be happy left behind, but I'll be left behind. And this generation will move on. <coughs> Why do you think each year, if it ain't nothing but signal lights on top of your car? Or they, they change cars every year, one little thing, and charge you $15,000 for it. They, they change the signal, signal light. My, they're on the door, on the side of the door. They'll probably have some man on top of the car later doing this, left, left, right. That'll be the new signal. I'm going to tell you the things are moving. Yeah. Knowledge is on the increase. It's on the rise. Young people, young, this fella here probably can tell you some things and do some math and stuff we probably couldn't do. I don't, let me ask you this, son. When you go to school, is the first thing you do once y'all get in that, do you pray? No. You can be honest. Do you pledge allegiance to the flag in the morning? Do you pray? Do you pledge allegiance to the flag in school? Oh, you do? Where do you go to school? I'm going to move my grandchildren up here. Yeah. Okay. Now, we homeschool, so we were able to do it. We homeschool. And not against nothing against public school. I understand that's because we were in missions and traveling and we, we had to go that route. But we said Bible verses on Wednesday. You had to memorize the Bible verse. You had to say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. You prayed. They told you how our country was founded. They told you about George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. They told you about the pilgrims. They told you about the thing that would settle you. Hundred and seventy-five years. All I'm touching the iceberg on, and I want y'all when I'm gone, let the spirit of this, y'all discuss this among yourselves some. Because it's coming. Hello? It's coming. You're gonna have to deal with. You're going to have to deal with, there's going to be a language problem here soon. <laughs> if you don't speak Spanish, you're not going to get a job. I was in the store, and this guy, the lady was asking him something. He had to speak, and the lady was saying something to him. He said, no speak, no speak, no speak English. And I was standing there, back in the line. No speak English, no speak English. And then she said, and the guy that was with him, I guess that didn't interpret, he was gone. And I'm not against the Spanish, you know. What I'm for is peace. But if you're going to come here, assimilate. That's right. That's right. Learn the language. That's right. Qualify. Get That's in. Right. See how old fashioned I am? Yeah. But I, I can go farther than that. I'll tell you, I'm more conservative than you. I ain't letting you in because you got a youngin' and you a mother and you say, I ain't letting you in America. Because they train them at seven, four, and five, and six years old, train them to hate Americans and kill the infidel. You see, you let them five senses get in the way. I'm too conservative for that. Well, it's just a nice couple, yeah, growing up killing 14 people. That's really nice. Hurrah, 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 stupid America. Not everybody. Not me. I'm working on a new cap now. I've got one out there called Bible Gun Pickup Truck. <laughs> I got one out there. It's a checklist, Bible Gun and Pickup Truck. My new one is this. Lock and load it. <laughs> got a new cap I'm working on. And see, I do it. It's kind of under the ground. But I'm kind of, and I'm going slow enough so people can get, woohoo, so people can get it. locked and loaded. And then they call us, they call us infidel. Thought about this one, armed infidel. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it? 
Some of you did, but I need to take it slow. I don't want to pour this wine. I don't want to pour this new wine too fast. I'll bust somebody open this morning. Old preacher got that new phone. He up on it. See, he's the first one to get it. He up on it. But the leader got to be up on it. I guarantee you, Ingalls, some stuff they got in their store now, probably 10 years ago, they said, we'll never have that junk in our store. But you know what? Stocks start going downhill. You say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got to rethink this thing. What can we do in here that won't change the message, but it'll keep our customers coming? I know what we'll do. Starbucks. Da-da-da. <laughs> Come on now. Did it work? Did it work? Sure it did. And we've got to, I ain't say, now, now, listen, don't go open a Starbucks downstairs. That's not what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> but I promise you this, if you put a Starbucks out in that parking lot, you'd have some traffic. <laughs> Until they come up with something else, boom, boom. They, they're going to come up with something new, so you might as well get the feel of Starbucks because it's going to change. It's moving. It's moving. Amen. I know I didn't do a good job, but I meant it from my heart. Listen, I'm just trying to alert you. You've been established. You're not easily shaken. You're a viable part of this community. We can do something. Let's shake something up around here. We can do it. You're strong enough. You're steady enough. And the pastor's already put it out there. Some of you should have got on to him and said, I got it, preacher. This is going to be our best year. And you start out by keeping the the same message, but being open. If you had a military academy or if you had a, a fort, a military installation near here, you would be dumb not to have something for veterans. You know, if you had, and see, like your college. See, you got to be open. They're weird. <laughs> Suppose they all decide to come to Gables Creek tonight. And you're going to come in, some will have tattoos on the eyeballs, earrings through their nose. You just live the life. When they come in, when I see young people come in, I did this in Kentucky not long ago. I, I, I'm, I'm repenting, and we got to get out of here. We're going to take a break. But and then I'll sing hard during the 11 o'clock service. But, <laughs> but we're on to something now. But listen, I, we were in Kentucky last year, a long time ago. And this fella came in. They had stuff going on. Weird looking guy had some girlfriend with him. And they were all in church, all lovey dub. And, uh, and I'm thinking, boy, if they doing this in church, ain't no telling what they do when they get a night down, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's just where my mind goes. I told you I'm so conservative, I make myself sick. Can't enjoy life for messing in other people's lives. <laughs> but I'm not a liberal. I, I'm far from that. But they were there, and then, and, and there was a lady beside of them, and she was just, and I said, she praying now, dear God, is she on drugs? I don't know which one it is. <laughs> and she was just, then after a while, uh, she went, she, she grabbed the boy and they went to the altar, and then I was sitting there, and I come out of my critical, criticizing mode, and I just stopped praying. And she went to the altar. That was good for me. It snapped me back. Then he pulled out some bottle and he started drinking on the front row. Just on something, something. I don't know what it was. I'm not saying it was booze or white lightning. Or oh, the energy drink. Energy drink that makes you go, whoa, 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 like I'm gonna be at the house. I'm trying to be calm. And then 
they were there, and then they went, and then they went up to the house, and then I went up, and I prayed with them, and I don't know what they were saying. And then this girl, she was holding them and saying something about it. she loved them and all that stuff. And then, oh, yeah. But then we, we finished up, had a great service, and then that night we were supposed to do a full concert. We got back there that night, and I said, we'll probably never see them no more. He came in by himself. Sit at the back of the pew, back of the church, on the back pew, back there. He sat there and he just looked at me. I said, well, man, he might be mad, but he don't know. I'm combat trained, you know. <laughs> Locked and loaded, you know. And he was back there. He was just looking. At the end, I talked about the grace of God, about how you couldn't earn it. It's a free gift to you. You could have it. All you got to do is come to it. And, you know, he got up without any music. And I thought it was only because he didn't come when I sang just as I am. You see, he came gloriously saved. But I had to open up. So I don't do that no more. I don't care how to do it. No, when they come here, that's a sign to you. Yes, sir, brother. Gabriel I don't care if it's a harlot. When they come here, it's a sign to you. Yes. It's the great commission, not the great omission. We've got to get back to winning souls. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for your love and your mercy. And help me in this little time. I, I appreciate the opportunity. And help me today. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. We love you and we bless you. We're open now for your leading and your guidance. Help us to stand firm. You never change, then we shouldn't change. But even, Lord, the old covenant should change to the new. Help us to do it the way that you do it. In Jesus' name we pray, and all of God's people say, amen. amen. Did you need to take up your Sunday school off? And I, did I interrupt that? Did you? Did you need to do that? Okay. All right.